band has my namesake, but I don't think it's necessarily named after me. Uh, my name is Alex Valiant, and the name of the band is Valiant Efforts. I started making music when I was a kid, I've always sang, um, but I didn't start trying to write songs till February. <laughs> Is when the band was started. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, right? Close enough. I'm inspired to make music just to kind of process things and just get information and feelings out and thoughts in a digestible format. My name is Nathan Wright. I play electric guitar. My favorite color is black. Yeah, we do. Um, what inspires me to make music is the desire to fill other people's ears with my sound. My name's Liam Demers. I play drums. Yep. It's a way to process things differently and from a different perspective. You kind of, yeah, no. Easier to process emotion, stuff like that. Give people something they enjoy listening to. John pulled me aside. Hanging out with John, I guess. <laughs> John. <laughs> John kind of pushed me to be here and doing this. Good pushes, not like off a cliff or anything. <laughs> More motivating. Like up a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My name is John Otis Brochu. I fulfill multiple roles in the band. I am our bass player. I am the manager. Sometimes I contribute songwriting. I just, I've always gravitated towards music. I just, I love listening to music. I love playing music. It just allows me to work through things, to express emotions that I'm maybe not as good at doing verbally. And it's just fun. It's a fun way to spend time with your friends. I got my first bass when I was 15 years old. I just turned 40 last week, so 25 years I've been playing bass. It should be a lot better. I've been playing electric guitar specifically for not eight years. I started playing guitar when I was seven, and then I started playing drums around 14, 15 with my first band. Work, work really, really hard. Myself. I'm always practicing drums every day and I want to get better at that. Being in a band has enhanced a lot of personal relationships for me. Being in a band is typically my personal life. Oh, I mean, it's great. Yeah, I get to hang out with four wonderful people. I get to go places, do some really cool things. Countless hours of practice. Uh, even though you might not be able to tell from my playing. Countless hours of practice, um, dedication. I've definitely blown off things in my personal life to do music instead. Uh, definitely, you know, missed family events I should have been at. Um, first, you have to assemble all of your musicians, and then you have to write the songs pertaining to those musicians so it sits everybody's ability levels and feels natural. You don't just record the song the first time, you do what's called a production demo where you put your idea down and then everybody listens to it and people come back with other ideas. Then after that you have to find 
um, a place that is an appropriate room and the appropriate gear to record your music and somebody to engineer. My name is Sean Pagel. Uh, I don't play anything. I am their engineer, so I record them in the studio. Well, when I go into the recording process, I try and be as prepared as possible so that we we can do it in as minimal takes as needed because drums, I mean, drums are usually the first thing that's focused on in the recording process. So to make sure we have a good solid drum take to then build off of is important. So I definitely make sure I'm as prepared as possible when coming in and able to bang it out within a couple takes. And then we'll come in and we'll dub the bass parts over again and then the guitar parts, and then vocals, the main vocals, and then we'll listen to that, and we'll probably do, you know, a couple different takes with maybe some different ideas. And then we'll do, you know, five, six different sessions of vocal harmony tracking. Um, and it just, and then mixing, it just, it adds up. One song can take a lot of time. An album can take, you know, six months to a year. I would prefer to play live. Like, there's more energy. And it's other people experiencing the music, not just you. Definitely would prefer to just play my music live and be out and getting that feedback from people enjoying the show and all the emotions and whatnots, lights, everything. I love them both. Recording music, I'd rather be on the engineer side, behind the board, moving all the knobs and pushing all the buttons. And I mean, playing live music is also a great feeling as well. You're getting out there, letting people hear what you have, giving them your energy, and you're getting their energy. My enjoyment as an engineer would come from recording a project that I'm not involved in. Uh, recording as a musician is kind of a painstaking process. Uh, you have to do everything like a mind-numbing amount of times, you know, like, oh, I just played that bass line like six times in a row. Okay, here's seven, here's eight, here's nine, till you get it right, till the producer is happy with your performance. Um, I, I, I would prefer live performance to recording. Is that the question? Yes. Okay.